Hi everyone. So this video is the second video of its type. It's another ASMR perfume unboxing video. Part of my Winter Rose Whispers ASMR videos. So today I'm going to be speaking softly and unboxing 10 different fragrances. When I unbox them, I'll show you the bottles and go over some of the notes, um, but I won't be reviewing the scents in this video. I do intend on filming some of these as first impressions or review videos. So if there's a perfume that you are particularly interested in, please let me know in the comments down below and I can try to review that one sooner. So, before we get started, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. If you need to relax a little, hopefully this can help. <laughs> you wanted to just sit back with your cup of tea or coffee and enjoy listening and or watching as well. So I'm going to take a sip of my tea and then we'll get started. And, um, let's unbox these. So the first perfume is from Dolce & Gabbana. This is a scent that a lot of people have been talking about recently and I've never smelled it. This was a blind buy and I'm basing it purely off people's reviews and the notes. So this might be a fun one to do as a first impression. So it's Dolce & Gabbana, the only one, Eau de Parfum. The box itself is very simple. It's a dark box with gold writing. Very classic, simple looking box. Uh, with this particular scent, the notes are top notes of violet orange and bergamot, the middle notes of coffee, pear, iris, rose and orange blossom, and the base notes are caramel, patchouli and vanilla. Let's unbox this one. So first, the plastic packaging. the box. I actually quite like that design. At the back there's a little section that's cut out just there so you can easily slide the lid open. Something so simple but makes it a lot easier. There's the bottom. This one is a 30ml or one fluid ounce. So it's just a small bottle. <laughs> it's a very classic, simple design. You can see just a nice rectangular bottle. And a really beautiful colour of that liquid in there too. It's almost like an ambery, caramel colour. The cap is quite a large cap. Feels like it might be plastic, but it's still quite heavy. The bottle is quite a heavy bottle for a 30ml perfume. And the glass 
really thick on the bottle. So that is the only one. The next perfume is from a brand that I think does recreations or inspired by perfumes as from what I've seen and from the price point they are very affordable and a lot of the time the fragrances I have four from from this brand the fragrances um, have been said to smell very very similar to some more expensive perfumes um, which I think is intentional <laughs> um, if the brand is Le Reef, I hadn't heard of them before but they kept showing up on some of the suggestions of fragrances that I might like and I was able to find them from a, a place within New South Wales um, an online store that had some of the Le Reef. they actually had quite a big range of the Le Reef perfumes but from what I understand it's an overseas brand um, that I hadn't really seen anywhere in person um, so I'm interested in trying a couple this one is Le Reef Fleur de Femme the top notes are almond, sour cherry, peach and bitter orange middle notes are cedar, rose, patchouli, neroli, jasmine and sandalwood and the base notes of vanilla, tonka bean and musk so let's unwrap this up So the box is very shiny, very pink, with black. It looks similar to some other boxes and I think that's by design. I can't remember what one this one is supposed to smell like. Um, but it's got sour cherry in it so I'll probably like it. I like most things with sour cherry. <laughs> Um, actually a lot of them have sour cherry in it today um, but um, yeah we'll see when I do a review I'll let you know what it's supposed to smell like or if you're interested and you really want to know ask me below in the comments and um, I'll look it up and get back to you this one bottle itself, I think it might be like poison, one of the poison, it's a darker bottle, this one I think is 100 mils or 90 mils, I think it's, it's 90 mils, it's a bit of an odd size but it's exactly three fluid ounces so that makes a bit more sense. still a thick glass bottle with a light, really lightweight plastic cap it's quite easy to hold and still looks pretty decent and it's, it's taking everything for me not to smell these right now but I really want to do a genuine first impressions video and I don't know which perfumes I'm going to include. If there is a specific perfume that you would like me to review as a first impressions let me know in the comments below. Um, it's so difficult, I really want to just smell these. Um, but 
no, I, I really do want to give my genuine first impressions because a lot of these uh, I haven't smelled before. Two of them I know, or well, three of them I know what they're probably going to smell like. One of them I know for sure because I have smelled it before, but the rest of them I haven't smelled before, so um, yeah, it's very difficult, but I do want to do a genuine first impressions and uh, yeah, I'm not sure which one help me out <laughs> if, if, if you want to see any of these in particular let me know that's the second fragrance I'll pop it back in the box and then we'll move on to the third this is another Marie scent this is Miss Dream and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to guess which one this is trying to replicate or what's inspired this scent maybe a hint this is Miss Dream from Marie the top notes are black currant, cassis, exotic fruits and bergamot the middle notes are milk, jasmine, sandalwood, rose and magnolia and base notes of vanilla and tonka bean I'm interested to see what the bottle looks like for this one this was the original Larive scent that kept coming up for me all the time and I'd never heard of the brand but this is the one that piqued my interest the most so one is 100 mil. The bottle is, or the box is just black, white and gold. <laughs> I can definitely see the uh, inspiration here. Not so much in the design of the bottle, which is quite simple. And you might not be able to see it, but the bottle has a dark blue glass, which I think I may have seen that somewhere before, <laughs> just in a slightly different shape. <laughs> so it's it's not super heavy. The cap I think is identical to the last cap, which I don't know. Maybe that's a Larive. Um, it doesn't look cheap looking. Um, it feels fine to hold. It's very simple. It's a higher pitched glass noise. <laughs> but uh, I'm looking forward to trying this and seeing how it compares. is also from the reef. It's called River of Love. Now you may be able to tell what's inspired this fragrance if you look at the box. This particular scent has so many notes in it. <laughs> so I will read through them but I do have them written down because I could not remember all of these notes. <laughs> so the top notes for this scent are black currant leaf, cotton candy, coconut, bergamot, pineapple, melon, mandarin orange and jasmine. Middle notes of honey, blackberry, plum, caraway, nutmeg, peach, red fruits, jasmine, rose, apricot, orchid, and lily of the valley. 
that wasn't enough already, we've got the base notes of patchouli, dark chocolate, vanilla, amber, caramel, sandalwood, tonka bean, and musk. It may have been faster to say what notes worked in this perfume. <laughs> but let's unwrap it and have a look at what the bottle looks like. one has a different cap so I'm not sure if you can guess but it'd be interesting to see if you can what this is inspired by or replicating I'm not quite sure if they claim to be a dupe or a replica brand or inspired by but it seems to be a trend the cap it's still plastic but it's silver for this And the bottle, it's actually a little heavier. This one I think is, oh, it's, it's 100 mils. It's a little smaller, but yeah, it's 100 mil size. And it looks like the glass is clear, but the liquid inside is a light blue color. <laughs> so that's perfume number four. I'm losing my tea, so I'm just going to move that over here. So perfume number five is... Let's go with this one. You may have seen this in a recent perfume haul video that I posted. And this is... Kayali's Invite Only Amber 23 and originally just popped into Sephora and was smelling the vanilla I think it's was it vanilla 28 and there's I think a vanilla cocoa as well or cocoa um I wasn't expecting I hadn't even heard of this one to be honest sprayed this one to a tester card and knew instantly that this was a scent that was going to be in my collection. <laughs> so um, at the time I was out running errands with my dad and um, he actually said that he would purchase this for me. So already uh, there's a sentimental <laughs> kind of attachment to this perfume. Uh, because it's always going to be something that I remember and he smelt it as well and he thought that it smelled very different uh, very unique uh, but it's got top notes of tobacco leaf sour cherry yet again sour cherry honey, chocolate and hazelnut the middle notes are cinnamon, may rose, damask rose and citrus leaf and base notes of amber, oud, vanilla, benzoin, sandalwood, cypress oil, patchouli and musk. Um, and I would definitely suggest trying this one. If you've got it, let me know what you think. But um, I already know that I really like this because it's one of the ones that I've smelled. So the packaging is a little different on this, so we'll see how it unwraps. But I think I can tear down here. plastic zipper. I don't know if that's a good noise or not, but that's what's happening. I think there's a sticker in the way. Let's see if I can get it out.
this is a very luxurious feeling box. It's gold and white. And a bottle inside. It's like a chrome dark gold, which normally I'm not a fan of bottles you can't see through. Uh, because I never know how much is left, but you might I think if you held a light up to it, you'd be able to tell. Yeah, you can see. So I'll give that a pass. <laughs> but even if it, I couldn't see through it, um, I'd still buy it because it was beautiful. It's a beautiful scent. It's actually a really lovely bottle too. It's simple in design. It's like a almost pewter gold colour. The cap actually feels, I think it's plastic, but it's got some weight onto it. It's got like a metal ring. It feels very luxe. It's, it's a very lovely bottle. But this one I'm going to smell because I know what it smells like already. So. It's just beautiful. That's Kayali's invite only. The next scent. So we're halfway <laughs> through. The next scent is the last one from the Reef. Cute, <laughs> what it's called. So cute as top notes of hollyhock, black currant, and yuzu. Middle notes of iris, lily, honeysuckle, and rose. And base notes of cedar, sandalwood, and musk. So again, from the packaging, you may be able to tell what it is meant to smell like. Silver around the edge, clear, really lightweight plastic cap again. If you're wanting to know what this is supposed to smell similar to, let me know below and I'll uh, comment that. So keep your eyes out down there. Next is a scent that so many people said I needed to try and I've never tried it and I still haven't tried it, but now I have it. <laughs> so this is one of the scents that I'm thinking I need to do a first impressions for because people's opinions are very polarizing. Some people love it, some people hate it, and generally there's no in between. We'll see. I'm hoping I'm a love it fan. I do like a lot of the Mugla scents, but this is a Mugla alien. So many of you suggested I needed this in my collection. A lot of you were surprised it wasn't in there. Like, very surprised. <laughs> and, um, it's just never been one that stood out to me. But the notes for Alien, it, it's very simple. You've got top notes of Jasmine, middle notes of Woody notes, and base notes of Amber. So, if you like Jasmine, which I'm finding that I'm enjoying more. I used to not enjoy jasmine, uh, but now I quite like it. So let's see how much I like it, I guess. Not now though. I'm saving for first impressions, but let's open up the box. This one, I think I got 50 in, oh, it says 60 in, so not the biggest bottle, but, um, I managed to get this one during a sale. I think it was 
my uh, data journal or something. So the box is yeah, quite pretty with the gold, the purple you would expect from a Muggle scent. The bottle, you would kind of recognise the bottle. I'm probably one of the last people to open this perfume. like Hermitcraft. I just, I don't know, I enjoy it. So this reminds me of um, walking over amethyst blocks in the geodes uh, in Minecraft. So for those of you who play Minecraft or you might have children that play Minecraft, <laughs> that's what it reminds me of and it's funny because it's the same colour like the purples. But when you walk over the blocks, makes a like a noise um, like a sparkling I don't know how to describe it like a crystal noise sort of similar to that <laughs> but that's the alien bottle which I'm sure all of you have seen by now it's actually really pretty it's quite nice to hold. Actually, this is a really good size. It feels very comfortable, which for me, I really like a bottle that is comfortable to use. I hate bottles that are awkward to press and use, but oh, I really want to smell this one. But I won't. I'll do this one. The temptation is real with that one. So, let's move that back a bit. I'll move on to the next one. This was one that I found while I was browsing the website for the Larif perfumes. And it's Lolita Limpeca Sweet. I had had this on my list of perfumes that I wanted and had just written it off that I was never going to own it. Um, because it's very difficult to find Lolita Limpeca fragrances uh, in general, like the normal ones, let alone the um, slightly older, more, more limited scents. I don't know if it's discontinued. I'm going to assume that it is. But there's a lot of scents that aren't discontinued, but they're just impossible to find, or near impossible to find in Australia. So for Sweet got top notes of sour cherry and sugar, middle notes of cacao iris and angelica, and base notes of musk and cashmere wood. Again, it has cherry, I think. That's my one of my favourite notes. I might just have to collect every perfume that has cherry. <laughs> However, you know, maybe one day. Would be the sticker. So the bottle, I'm guessing, is going to have that. Lolita Lampeca apple shape. And it is. It's very pretty. It's a red with gold. It's very simple looking. The cap, that cap's actually quite heavy. I think it might be a metal. That's unexpected. That's kind of nice. But it's actually really Really good size. It kind of reminds me of um, 
the apple in the, one of the fairy tales. It's it's really a heavy bottle. This one I think is a hundred, I think it's a hundred mils or three point four fluid ounces. But I really like this one, <laughs> and I'm excited to try it. Of course, I'm extra excited because it's got cherry. It just makes me want to try it even more. So, let's see. The next is a flanker of oh, one of my all-time favourite scents. So this one is the Guerlain's Le Petit Robe Noir So Frenchy. I don't know if it's meant to smell the same as the original, which some of the flankers smell the same. Um, but I will try it and I can let you know if it does. So the top notes in this are bergamot, almond, sour cherry, red berries, middle notes of tea, rose and licorice, and the base notes are iris, patchouli, anise, tonka bean and vanilla. So it sounds very similar to the original. And sometimes with Golan, they do make their flankers and they smell the same. Not all the time. So. This particular bottle is a 50 ml. Uh, was the only one that they had, and I kind of clicked for the Petite Robe Noir little black dress vacuum, so that's the bottle there. It's, it's a not a see-through, it's opaque completely, it looks like white with the like, nautical looking stripes. It's got the same dress as the original bottle looks like I think. Yeah it's the same dress and normally the dress will change if the scent changes. I'm gonna smell this one just because I think from what I can smell through the, the top it smells like it's going to be the same as the original but I'm okay with that because I love the scent. It's one of my favorite perfumes. So I don't really mind if I have 10 different flankers that smell the same as the original because I think it's one of those perfumes that I just like to collect to have the set. I obviously don't own them all, there's, I don't know, 20, 30 plus, um, but I wouldn't complain if I did. <laughs> now the last one is one of the newest purchases that I have and this is Golan again. I actually quite enjoy a number of their scents, but this one is Mongolan, the Eau de Parfum. I have really been getting into the Eau de Toilette, um, which is similar to this from what I've read. I have never tried the Eau de Parfum though, and the Eau de Toilette was a blind buy for me, and I've recently been getting into it, of course, because it's been discontinued. So I do have a backup of the Eau de Toilette that I thought I would try the Eau de Parfum because this one hasn't, knock on wood, yet been discontinued. So with the Mongolan Eau de Parfum, we've got top notes of lavender, bergamot, middle notes of iris, jasmine and rose, and the base notes of Tahitian vanilla, sandalwood, licorice, benzoin and patchouli. Looks like there may be like a tonka bean or that kind of a base note in there as well. Let's open it up. This one is just a little one. It is 30 mils, one fluid ounce. Inside it's bright red. That's quite nice. 
isn't that cute? It's a beautiful bottle. It looks the same as the larger bottles. It's just obviously a small version. It's got the gold around there. It's actually quite a, a nice weighty bottle and the colour of the liquid inside is beautiful caramel golden golden nectar kind of <laughs> kind of a colour. It's quite lightweight, it's not as heavy as I would have thought, so a lot of the weight's from the bottle. We've got the gold. I haven't tried this one. I might wait. Just in case. But that is the last of the perfumes for this unboxing. So I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing video. If there are any of the fragrances in particular that you would like me to review or try as a first impressions, do let me know. I hope you found it interesting or relaxing or just fun to listen to. And um, that's it for me for now. So I'm just going to finish off my tea before it gets too cold to drink and wrap it up so i hope you're all having a fantastic day morning afternoon or evening whatever it is wherever you are and i'll see you all in my next video Mwah. bye for now